this tea. <laughs> hey guys, so for today's video, uh, I was at Marielle's and I hadn't gotten ready yet. So I was like, let me just film the typical makeup that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel like I don't have very good skin, so I prefer wearing more makeup. But that's just my personal preference. You definitely don't need to wear makeup every day, whether that's if you're just around the house doing stuff, if you're going to school, if you're going to work, work like five days a week, and then I go to school two days a week. So um, I typically have to be pretty put together in my sense. So this is kind of like my basic. I just did a couple of shades in the crease on the eye, some blush highlighter, a little bit of contour, a nice one of my favorite matte lips. Just really simple. Um, it can take, if I'm not having a whole concert in my room and I'm like performing whatever song I'm listening to, the Hamilton soundtrack, the Jonas Brothers, Taylor Swift. <laughs> um, it can take me, I can do this in like 10 or 15 minutes, which is really nice. Sometimes I'll just forget the eyeshadow and just focus on the skin, things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and all of the products will be listed down below in the description and I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy. So I've already started off with my Benefit Professional and my Smith's Rosebud Salve and then I'm going in with my Ben Nye Matte Makeup Sealer Spray to prime again. And then I'll be going in with my CoverGirl 3-in-1 Foundation. This is my favorite foundation ever and I pumped it and it was like all watery and it was disgusting. But I'm just using my Wet Real Techniques sponge to blend that in and I love this foundation it gives me a good amount of coverage where I don't always have to spot conceal if I don't want to it helps to control my oil and it does not break me out so next I am doing concealer with my Tarte Shape Tape under the eyes and then the Maybelline Master Conceal on any bigger spots I love the Tarte Shape Tape if you can find it and get your hands on it go for it it's amazing and I'm using the Real Techniques Mini Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend that in under my eyes and that one's also wet. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline one on any um, bigger more noticeable spots. It looks like it's not blended in when I go for powder but trust me it looks fine in person. Then I'm taking my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and a Starbucks break and I'm going to be setting my under eyes with the Laura Mercier powder. This stuff is life changing. I love the Cody Air Spun, but the Laura Mercier is honestly amazing. It keeps everything from creasing on me and it works great. Next, I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte and setting the rest of my face and going down my neck. I swear by this stuff, I've used it since like 2011 or 2012. I will never go to anything else. Next I'm taking my Sephora powder in number 26 Tranquil and the brush that comes with my Benefit Blue Bronzer to do just a little bit of light contouring. I do my cheekbones, my nose, and then usually below uh, my lip, but I didn't show that today. And then Mary, I want to show me something so I put my glasses on. And then I'm using my Benefit Blue Bronzer to bronze up my face with the Real Techniques blush brush. I just go on my cheeks, my temples and my forehead and a little bit on my neck just to make sure everything is blended and cohesive. Um, and then I'm going back with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just carving out the bottom of my contour. And then I'm going in with the Topshop blush and powdered. This stuff is amazing. Honestly, one of the best purchases I've ever made. I use it every day and it's still not even close to hitting pan. And then I'm taking my Makeup Revolution highlighter in peach light so you can see me yelling about how much I love it. This stuff is great. Oh my god. I don't even look in the mirror because I just know that it's gonna look good. Oh my gosh. It's like four dollars at Ulta. Look at that. So next I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in I think medium brown. I went to because my hair is darker. I'm just brushing through my brows and filling them in. I hope you guys can see because I do have like, all these weird angles. But um, I'm just gonna fill in my brows. Um, I've trying to been I've been trying to go a little bit lighter in the front and then always defining my arch and then making my tail a little bit longer because I feel like I just like it a little bit longer. And then I brush the product through.
Then I'm taking the benefit of taking brow, I think, in number three to set my brows, make sure they don't go anywhere. Make sure we're all good on that front because my brow hairs can be a little hard to take. And then I'm going back with the Ben Nye setting spray and doing another layer of that after I've done all my powder stuff. Next I'm taking my Tartlet palette again, I love this thing, and a MAC 217. And I'm taking the second color in the top row, I don't know if you can this, but it's just this nice cool taupe. And I'm just putting that in my crease, buffing it pretty well, it's been like half my life blending. And I'm just going to buff that for some definition. And then I took uh, the, I think it's called Activist, it's on the second row, it's the last one, it's like a mid-tone, darker tone brown. And I'm buffing that in my crease and on my outer corner. I usually will just do the first color, but sometimes I'll add the second one. And then I I'm taking Charmer on the e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow brush and going underneath my brows with that. And then I went back to my Makeup Revolution highlighter, and I'm just putting that on my inner corners for a little bit of brightness. Sometimes I'll use the matte shade from Tarte, or I'll use this. I would die for him. I would die for him. <laughs> Next I'm going to be curling my lashes. This is just an e.l.f. eyelash curler, but I really like it. And I curl my lashes pretty intensely. Um, I just like curling them a lot. I don't really know. There's no method to my madness. And then I'm using Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara. I do about two coats on the top and one on the bottom. So after my mascara, I'm just going back and uh, doing any final little bit of blending, and then I'm going to go on to my lips. And for my lips, I'm using one of my all-time favorite colors, which is Stockholm by NYX. It's one of their soft matte lip creams, and that finishes the look. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and all the products will be listed below, and thanks for watching. Is it recording? Yes. <laughs> Superstars and all the tears on her guitar. Do we know her?